The ruling African National Congress in South Africa will push ahead with plans to amend the constitution to allow for the appropriation of land without compensation. This was announced by the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa earlier this week. Now, land expropriation has been a long drawn out issue in the country, often used as a pole plank. Most land remains in white hands, making it a potent symbol of lingering inequality nearly 25 years on from the end of apartheid. Since the white minority rule ended in 1994, the ANC has followed a willing seller, willing buyer model whereby the government buys white owned farms for redistribution to black citizens. But now expropriation without compensation basically means there will be no money doled out to white farmers when the land is taken away from them. It has become patently clear that our people want the constitution to be more explicit about expropriation of land without compensation as demonstrated in the public hearings. The ANC will, through the parliamentary process, finalize a proposed amendment to the constitution that outlines more clearly the conditions under which expropriation of land without compensation can be effected. South African citizens have expressed mainly positive thoughts on the announcement, saying that land expropriation without compensation, if managed properly, is something that they, as a whole, are looking forward to. However, the move could potentially unnerve foreign investors who play a major role in shaping the country's economy. The 1913 Land Act banned blacks from owning or renting land outside native reserves, to which those without jobs in urban white households and businesses were deported. I believe uh, land expropriation uh, without compensation is a good thing. Um, that's what the country has been looking for and the people are asking for it. So um, why not you know, give what the people are asking for? It depends on how it's rolled out, it depends on what land is targeted and how it is done. It may very well be that it compensates uh, or it, it brings people into land ownership uh, in respect of land that will not uh, uh, compromise food security in the country.